This was indeed a sight worth seeing. For the very first time, Chinese astronauts landed back on Earth safely after spending six months straight into space. In recent news, three Chinese astronauts returned to Earth on Saturday after six months aboard their country's newest orbital station in the longest crewed mission to date for China's ambitious space program. During the 183-day mission, astronaut Wang Yaping carried out the first spacewalk by a Chinese woman. Wang and crewmates Zhe Xingang and Yi Guangfu beamed back physics lessons for high school students. And there was a lot more that happened in the space station during their stay. The landing was made in North China's Inner Mongolia, all three Taikonauts safely taken out on solid ground. Zhai was the first to emerge from the capsule roughly 45 minutes after the landing, waving and grinning at the cameras as he was lifted by ground crews into a specially designed chair before being bundled into a blanket. He said, We thank President Xi Jinping for his concern and care. We thank the people for their support and encouragement. Mission Commander Zhai, 55, is a former fighter pilot who performed China's first spacewalk in 2008, while Yi, who was taken out next, is a People's Liberation Army PLA pilot. The Shenzhou-13 missions recorded a few firsts for China. Wang became the first Chinese woman to complete a spacewalk, and it was China's longest crewed mission. The spaceship was launched from Zhouquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert in mid-October. Hours later, it docked with China's unfinished orbital Tiangong space station. There, the astronauts got to work carrying out experiments and preparing for the construction of new space modules and delivering science lectures. That included answering questions from those keen students back on Earth. One way of landing to Earth is when astronauts or taikonauts want to return to Earth, they turn on the engines to push their spacecraft out of orbit. Gravity then pulls the spacecraft back towards the Earth. The spacecraft may be slowed to a safe landing speed by parachutes. The space shuttle has stubby wings so that it can land on a runway like an airplane, or on solid surface or many times spacecraft splash down gently into the sea. Venturing into the environment of space can have negative effects on the human body. Significant adverse effects of long-term weightlessness include muscle atrophy and deterioration of the skeleton, also known as spaceflight osteopenia. Other significant effects include a slowing of cardiovascular system functions, decreased production of red blood cells, also known as space anemia, balance disorders, eyesight disorders, and changes in the immune system. Additional symptoms include fluid redistribution, causing the moon face appearance typical in pictures of astronauts experiencing weightlessness, loss of body mass, nasal congestion, sleep disturbance, and excess flatulence. Overall, authorities refer to the various deleterious effects of spaceflight on the human body by the acronym RIDGE, i.e. space radiation, isolation and confinement, distance from Earth, gravity fields, and hostile and closed environments. So what's next for Beijing? While China has put billions of dollars into the space program, it hopes to send humans to the moon by 2029 and build a base there. For now, this Taikonaut trio have wrapped up their mission and will be spending time in adjusting the gravity. China will launch three more astronauts to its newest space station in June after this latest crew returned this weekend following a six-month stay in orbit. The crew of the Shenzhou-14 capsule will spend six months of the Tiangong to add two modules to the station, Hao Chun, director of the Chinese Manned Space Engineering Office, told a news conference. The core module of the Tiangong, or Heavenly Palace, was launched in April 2021. Plans call for completing construction this year. The Wenxian module will be launched in July and the Mengxian module in October, Hao said. Near the end of the Shenzhou-14 crew's mission, three more astronauts will be launched aboard Shenzhou-15 for a six-month stay, Hao said. He added that the two crews would overlap for three to five days, making the first time the station had six people on board. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next episode.